Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. This week our video is all about the King's Cross tube fire that happened in 1987, so nearly 35 years ago now. And we're going to look at how a small fire turned into a devastating blaze that claimed the lives of 31 people. And also at some of the ways in which it's advanced our knowledge of fire. There have been many, many changes made to tube safety since this occurred. But what we're going to dive into today is how the fire started and also what led it to go from being a small fire into a very, very big blaze. So this is exactly where the fire broke out on the 18th of November, 1987. It was escalator four and the blaze started off as a small fire. Some people even stepped over it to carry on up the escalators. But what we want to find out is how it went from a small fire about the size of a cardboard box to a huge devastating blaze that tore its way up the inside of this escalator tunnel out onto the concourse above, killing 31 people. We're gonna find out exactly how this fire started and how the spread of the fire occurred so quickly. What we're going to go and do now is going to go and look for an example of a wooden escalator just like the ones that caught fire on the London tube. Follow me. Now, since the last wooden escalators were removed in 2015 from Greenford Station, it's been really hard to picture what the escalators might have looked like at King's Cross. So what we found is the closest thing we can find here in London, which is a set of escalator treads that have been turned into a staircase. A look at how the fire actually started. First of all, it was deemed to be a cigarette butt that had been dropped between the escalator treads. Smoking had been banned in 1985 on the tube. However, people will continue smoking well into 1987. So it wasn't uncommon to see people lighting up as they were leaving the station or even sometimes on the carriages. However, the investigators tried to replicate the source of the fire by dropping cigarette butts down between model escalator treads, trying to set fire to all the grease and debris down there. But they tried unsuccessfully three times to do this before someone suggested actually trying dropping a lighted match down beneath the escalator treads and immediately that set fire to the grease and the debris and they realized that that was how the fire started. Now what we need to look at next is how a very small fire turned into this enormous tube of flame that just shot up the escalator straight onto the concourse, killing those 31 people. In order to do that, we need to burn some things so I can demonstrate to you the trench effect. We can't do that in here, so come and join me outside and I'll show you exactly how that occurred. Now we're safely outside, we can demonstrate the trench effect. And the easiest way to explain the trench effect without running complex CFD models is actually to do a very simple experiment. So what I've got here, and it's easily repeatable, so you can do it yourself at home. I've got an old COVID test box. And what we're going to do is we're gonna cut it into bits to make two separate parts of this experiment. So first of all, we're gonna cut it down the middle to form a trench. And we need to cut both ends off so that what we end up with is just a simple U-shape of cardboard. So. so what we're left with here is a small U-shape of cardboard. And then we want to take the other side of the box at which we've cut to bits and we will just take this flat panel. So what we have is we have a flat panel and we have this U-shape. They both have a similar surface area if we're to stretch them all out. But what we'll notice is the difference that occurs when we set fire to the U-shape versus the flat panel. And this helps to explain why the fire traveled so rapidly up the escalator shaft. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop them in this fire pit here and I'm going to add some accelerant. Now be very, very careful with whatever you choose. Make sure to do it in a safe manner if you decide to repeat this experiment. So here's an update for you. The first experiment burns so brightly that actually you couldn't see what's going on uh, through the camera. So what I've done is I've set the experiment up again. This time we're using slightly larger versions of exactly the same thing. So we have a big board here and we've got our trench right here. We're gonna set this up again in the fire pit and show you the experiment once more. So whilst it may have been a little difficult to spot, hopefully you saw towards the end of the experiment that the trench, what happened when the fire finally took hold is it actually the flame shot up the inside of the trench, whereas on the flat piece of board, they were still just burning at the bottom. And that's exactly what happened with the tube fire, is that it shot up the inside trench underneath the escalator before coming out the top in essentially a big fireball, 
which then cause flashover inside the actual tube tunnel. And that's where all the surfaces spontaneously combust. And that fire will then shot through into the main concourse, which also then had a flashover. So that's exactly how the situation occurred. Very, very similar to our experiment here until finally our trench fell apart. You get the general idea. With a trench, we have the flame that goes, travels up through it. Whereas when we have a flat surface, the flame tends to burn on it and burn vertically rather than traveling up the surface as you will see in the trench scenario. I hope that helped explain. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you like more content like this, then please do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.